Hi, Nick here from nickbouquetdrums.com coming to you today with an Instagram clip, a transcription and a bit of a concept lesson from my lounge room in beautiful Newcastle, Australia. That clip you just watched was arranged by the most beautiful man in the Southern Hemisphere. Yes, he's that Indonesian guy who's been in a few of my videos before and he asked me to play on this arrangement with a bunch of his talented friends. A bit later in this video, I'm gonna break down the grooves and fills, but first I'm gonna talk a little bit about my philosophy on writing drum parts. In this case, I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step process of how I went about writing this piece and how I go about learning songs and creating my own drum parts. Let's get into it right now. Number one, understanding the brief. First, I was briefed on the style and the target audience that Stefan was aiming for, and he wanted the track to be groove-orientated, technical, and a little bit choppy. The piece was gonna be quite busy and have some talented players on it, and I was in the position to go first and write my parts before I would hear what the other musos are going to play. I was lucky to be working with someone with a little bit of vision and a clear mind about what he wanted, and he sent me his logic session with notes about each section of the piece. Step two, listen. Secondly, I had to listen to the piece and find out what I was in for. Steffa sent me a guide track that he arranged which consisted of basic keyboard parts and vocals. Now check this out, the next step I'm going to share is going to be the key teaching point from this video and has the potential to set you up for success as a gigging and studio drummer when you master it. Step three, making a structure chart. This is the least sexy part about being an organized drummer, but it sets you up to write the best possible parts that fit the song and give you a lot of confidence about approaching almost any drumming task. I make these structure charts for almost every song I learn and my Instagram story is always full of these charts. That was a quick plug to go and follow me on Instagram, by the way. You can do it! This is the actual scribbled down version of the chart I use for this track. It's not pretty, but it's what I wrote down during my second and third listening of this piece. Your notes just have to make sense to you. And see, I didn't even write the rhythm, but just to be quick, I just wrote the counting. See that first part? One, a two, and three, a four, e, and a. And while I was listening, I just put a stroke down for each bar. Here is a neater version that I wrote for the purposes of this video. My iPad is full of charts like this. Now I'm gonna take you through this structure chart and show you exactly what I mean and how I go about creating the best possible foundation for writing intentional, interesting, and classy drum parts. This is the guide track that Steffa sent me. Let's go through it now. Okay, let's count this and get all the major accents. Let's do it. One, a two, and three, a four, e, and a one, two, three, four, e, and a one, two, three, Two, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, a two, and three, and four. One, a two, and four. One, a two, and three, and four. One, a two, and three, and four. One, a two, and three, and four. One, a two, three, four. One, two, Two, give me some equipment run. One, a two, and, and four, e, 
one, a two, and three, and four, e and a one, a two, and three, four, one, a two, finish. Let's take a look at the structure chart with my kit part added in. One, a two, and three, a four, e and a fill, two, three, four, e and a one. Okay, let's have a little groove here in the background, a really shallow rim shot, David Garibaldi style King Kong groove. Okay, ready to go, no kick drum. One, two, three, and four. One, a two, and E and four. One, a two, and let's play 16th note groove, hitting those shots on the kick. Okay, one, a two, shots, three, and four, and one, onto the ride cymbal. Hit these parts. One, a two on the bell. A four. One, two, three, four. One big fill. Symbol grab. One, a two, and and four e. Hit the shots with the lyrics. Four e and a one, a two, and three, four, one, a two. Shut up. Well, how did you like that? A good rhythmic structure chart makes any piece of music seem simple and when you break it down this way you can turn the most complex songs into basic counting exercises. Okay, now I'm going to slow down my kit part to 50% of the original speed so you can see exactly what is happening. Watching, listening and following the transcription with your eyes is a great way to learn as well. Let's take it away right now. Okay, let's check out the finished product with all the other musicians. Let's roll it right now. I hope you've taken a few things away from this video and I hope you can see the importance of making a simple structure chart when you're going about learning your parts. Okay everybody, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to like, leave a comment and subscribe if you enjoy my content and I will see you in the next video. Bye.